हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो ऑफ प्लांट इशू कल्चर सीरीज ऑफ एक्सप्लोर बायो प्लांट इशू कल्चर इज अ सोफिस्टिकेटेड टेक्निक इन विच प्लांट इशूज आर एसेप्टिकली मेंटेन्ड और ग्रोन अंडर कंट्रोल कंडीशंस ऑन सुटेबल न्यूट्रिएंट मीडिया बट एज द मीडिया इज रिच इन न्यूट्रिएंट्स इट मे इन्वर्ट लार्ज नंबर ऑफ बैक्टीरिया एंड फंजाई दैट कॉम्पीट्स फॉर ग्रोथ विद प्लांट इशूज एंड लीज टू फेलियर ऑफ प्लांट इशू कल्चर source of contamination may be explant itself the culture vessel equipment used for operating such as tweezers scissors media surrounding environment operator or any other therefore for successful tissue culture it becomes essential to prevent microbial contamination from all these sources the process to kill all the microbes is called as sterilization in my earlier videos i have mentioned sterilization is one of the first steps in plant tissue culture poor sterilization and lack of maintenance of aseptic conditions is one of the major causes of contamination and failure of plant tissue culture experiments in order to save plant material time labor and chemicals it is essential to follow standard protocols or optimize sterilization procedures In today's video we will see various kind of sterilization procedures routinely used for sterilization of explant media vessels tools and surroundings which is essential part of plant tissue culture The first one is autoclaving using moist heat for sterilization of culture vessels like flasks jars bottles tweezers scalpel spatula glass petri dishes tips tubes and media and other such components Autoclaving is done at 121 degrees at 15 pressure for 15 minutes in most of the cases. By increasing the pressure the boiling point of water is increased which helps in achieving higher temperature. In autoclave moist heat is used for autoclaving. Used media are also decontaminated using autoclave to kill microbes if grows before discarding them. Precautions needs to be taken that all the items should be heat resistant and heat sensitive materials should be added only after autoclaving. All the items to be autoclaved should be wrapped properly or closed to avoid entry of microbes. Bottles which are slightly loosened for autoclaving should be tightened immediately after autoclaving. Next way is using dry heat. To sterilize glassware or dry powder, dry heat by keeping in hot air oven at 160 degrees for 2 to 3 hours is usually used. Another way is filter sterilization. To prevent denaturation and loss of activity due to heat, heat sensitive materials including some phytohormones like gibberellins and zeatin, vitamins and plant extracts are filtered using 0.22 micron syringe filters made of cellulose acetate or cellulose nitrate. PES membrane filters are hydrophilic and have faster filtration rates and hence are better. Microbes are trapped and thus eliminated using filter membrane. Precaution needs to be taken that such operations are performed under laminar flow hood and collection tubes must be autoclaved. Laminar air flow is a necessary equipment for maintaining a microbe-free environment. In this, air is passed through HEPA filters which makes it microbe-free and a positive air pressure prevents entry of air from the operator direction. Within this, all the operations of plant tissue culture such as sterilization, inoculation and transfer of plant tissues is done. Surface sterilization of explant Plant tissues used to initiate the tissue culture is called as explant. To learn more about explant and its various types and applications, do watch this video. After rinsing the explant with water, it can be treated with one or more types of surface sterilization agents. During water wash, few drops of milk detergents like Twin 20 may be added. This is useful to reduce water repulsion due to waxy secretion from certain type of tissues. Next, it is treated with 70% ethanol for about 30 seconds. Next, it is treated with HCl2 for a few seconds to few minutes. But it is highly toxic for humans and plants and hence less frequently used. Instead of HCl2, more commonly used bleaching agents such as calcium and sodium hypochlorite are used for sterilization. The sterilization with bleaching agents is usually done for a few seconds to about 30 minutes depending upon the type of explant. At last, the explant is washed thoroughly several times with sterile water to remove traces of sterilization agent. The choice of sterilization agent, concentration and duration of exposure depends upon the type of explant. Shorter exposure to a diluted sterilization agent may invite contamination. 
Longer exposure may reduce the regeneration ability or kill the explant. I therefore recommend you to refer previously published papers or optimize the sterilization protocol by yourself. Another way of sterilization is by radiations. 15 to 20 minutes of exposure to UV radiation is generally given to sterilize air and non-porous surfaces within the lamina airflow. Certain items such as plastic petri dishes, sterile filters, tips, tubes, syringes are also available as gum sterile by the companies. This saves a lot of time. Flame sterilization Tweezers, scalpels, vessel mouth can be exposed directly to the flame for a few seconds whenever exposed or opened prior to performing tissue culture operations. Some of these equipments can be dipped in absolute ethanol prior to flaming. Other than this, basic practices such as wearing a lab coat, hair cap, clean footwear, face mask, cleaning the hands with 70% ethanol prior to tissue culture procedures is anticipated. Following above sterilization procedures and practices, one can avoid contamination and increases the success rate of plant tissue culture. If you are interested to learn more about plant tissue culture, do check out my playlist. I have uploaded several videos on steps in plant tissue culture, how to set up a plant tissue culture lab, how to choose explant and others. You may also check out my videos on how to choose a research topic, write a research paper, a review and lot more interesting stuffs. Comment or email me about your queries and suggestions. Thanks and see you in my next video.